guys welcome back to Kayla K's world now I know you haven't seen me in a long long while but I'm just working on something new and exciting and fun I know I always say this but this time I mean anyways guys in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to create a YouTube channel and how to switch over your whole email to a new one so stay tuned and let's get into today's video account before you start so what you do is open Google Chrome and type in create a new email account right so it's already it has already came up for me sorry guys I don't know why this is not focusing okay so it's already up on my screen saying create a new email account so you would select that and then go on create a google account all right so basically you have two different accounts you have one for business and you have one for personal so i'll be using personal because once you're doing the business account, you have to put in business name, address, and all of those stuff. I don't need that. So, for myself. So, this is what it will come up with for you to create a new account. So, you type in your name, your new username, along with your password, and then you would confirm. So what I'm going to do is fill out all of this and then I'll show you guys what comes after. Okay, so you will be added, adding your phone number onto your account and it will be verified. So I'm going to add in my phone number then I'll show you what comes in. This would be the next thing after adding in your phone number. So what you would do is that you would verify by adding code that was sent to you once added you should verify then you would add in recovery email if it has been used or you can just use it to um, you know for example to better secure your account add in your gender and other important information and proceed this is the next step once you have read through everything then you click yes i'm in it's gonna go through some procedures with you and policies and what you need to do is just to verify that you understand and you agree i personally know all of their policies so i'll just click i agree once finished they are gonna add you to your new account and for you to continue your steps so I'm just gonna go straight into my email because there's a welcome message waiting for me and right after doing that I will just go through if I want I can change a team and go through some other stuff now since I have my new account my next step is to start creating the YouTube channel that I want. So I'm going to shift over from where I'm at, going over to YouTube using this new email address that I have okay. to sign in. So I'm now on to my new... This has been a little shaky. So I'm on now to my new email address. Now... I already have a YouTube channel which is already connected to everything and that is Kayla K's world but I'm gonna create a new channel so let's start the process first you would type in YouTube
Now, as you see, this is a new account. I do also have another account. So maybe I would have to sign out of this. Mm -hmm. I would have to sign out of this because this is the new email address that I've created recently besides the one that I have. So what you want to do is sign out of this email address. Sign out of that account. It's going to redirect you into a old entire new page. Up here on the right hand corner, you can click sign in. And you would sign in with the new email that is available. And then you enter in your password. Once your password is in, press next. This is me signing into my new YouTube account using that Gmail. So this is going to go through because you've signed up with your new Gmail. You're new to YouTube, so it's going to give you a whole entire list of things, tutorial, on how you're supposed to go through. Now, I'm going to skip through all of those tutorials because I already have all the edges and everything. I need to curve all these balls to do what I should. So what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to go over to that same right hand corner and click on the head. This that I get here. Once open, I'm going to click create a channel. Now, I have a couple of things that I would need to email in order to add on my uh, my my banner because I created a new banner for this new channel but before I add in all of those stuff let's show you guys how to create it so click on create a channel so there's a picture egg and I'm not ready to upload the picture yet but the name of the channel is not Michaela Henry I'm gonna create a name of the channel which is Reading with Kill. Now, I do not need a capital W, right? And I really don't need a capital K, okay? just the first one. Now, what you're gonna do is click create a account, create channel. It's gonna redirect you and this is how your page is supposed to look. So I have zero subscribers now, you know, and it gives you a chance to upload your videos here, manage your videos, and customize your channel. Now, I am gonna start the customization for my channel, and what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna send my banner over now like how i'm about to start customizing my channel so i'll be back with you guys shortly okay i am back guys so the next step is to add my picture so i'm gonna add a picture of myself obviously so it redirects you to your own personal YouTube studio. You can use this to hit it to add sounds to keep you updated on your videos while they're transgressing and also on the subscribers you have and newsletters and everything that goes on. Analysis, playlists, everything that goes on on your YouTube channel. So let's proceed. Now, it redirects me to customizing my channel. The first thing I'm going to do is to add a profile picture. So I already have my profile picture. I'm just going to redirect it. Right. 
soon. This is my professor. Beautiful, isn't she? I'm gonna select done because it has actually placed it to exactly where I want it to be. No need for me to adjust or anything. So this is my profile picture. Now personally, I don't really take a lot of pictures, but you know, I don't need to tell you guys that right now. <laughs> Alright, now I also did a channel banner. Yes, I did. But hopefully it's big enough to fit this. Because I did it on my phone, right? So let's see if it works. So I did it. Uh, Alright, so maybe this can work. I'm not sure. Let's select done to see how it, how it is. Alright, so this is only showing me one part of what I want to see. And this was the first issue I was having with the last channel banner that I made personally. So the view that I want you all to get is basically the typical idea of what is what. Alright, um, viewable. So if you are on your TV, you're gonna see everything, I guess. Up here, you're gonna see everything that I actually want you to see. If you're watching on your television. If not, you'll see this as your desktop view. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to create a second banner where I can readjust the read with me. And viewable on device is this is what you would see so this is right now the desktop view I really wish I could get to read with me but you know yeah on your television you would see the whole entire thing so I just have to work with what I have but let's see if I can shape it in maybe I can shape it in there's I shouldn't even try to adjust this because it's not gonna make any use so I am just gonna cancel because I already have just cancel because I already have part of it up there so the next step is to publish a watermark awesome. one second guys okay guys sorry I got a call so the next step is for me to create my watermark. So what I would do is upload and use the same profile picture that I have as my watermark. So I'm saying it's too small, so okay. I'll be using a watermark then. <laughs> Anyways, next process is for me to publish. So I am finished right here for now. The next step for me to do is to publish what I've already done. Look at the transformation that is about to happen to the channel. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. So, as you can see over here and at the top right hand corner, the images has changed. What I'm going to be doing though is viewing my channel so I'll go over here to channel view and this is what it looks like now as you already know I wanted it to be a little bit more beautiful with the highlight up here because the image was so great but yeah over time I can go to a professional if I feel like but it's looking beautiful right now <laughs> okay guys now I have already created my YouTube channel yes I have now I am just gonna go over and do a finishing touch of my my channel by adding in some personal information what I'll be adding in though is 
everything that makes up my channel. So this is the dashboard of my channel. It's going to give you a run through of everything tutorial of how to go through the process. But because I already know everything, I don't need to do that. So I'll be going to settings and in a run through. I would had where I resign. So I'm from Jamaica, so I'm gonna have Jamaica. I go to advanced um, settings and I would select it's not made for children because it is not made for children. I don't have an ads account. I think I have an ads account. First thing I think I would have to create that one. And I have the display of how much subscribers I have on it. I want to have ads on my channel because, uh, yeah, it helps to pay. Make sure to watch. So I would go through. Right now, I don't remember the ads account. I would have to add it in at a later date. So let's get off of that. And these are the list of things that will be enabled after a while in your channel. So I'm just going through. This is basic information, right? You give a description of your videos and talk about what your video is about. Permissions. So I'm the owner of this channel as you can see and this is if I have a moderator and some other stuff. So let's see. What I am going to do though is that I am going to add a little information about myself. Meaning, I'm going to tell you exactly what this channel is about. Now, this channel is strictly for reading, as you can see. And it's reading of all kinds. So I am back in customization. I'm going to go through. And this is branding, which I've basically went through already. And I'm going to have a basic description of what the channel is all about so after having all of this information i am through with creating my channel i would have my email address along with my um my instagram page my um oh, my tiktok page i don't really use snapchat so i hold that chat Snapchat and also my Facebook page so I will proceed in adding those in so I'm gonna go through the next couple steps and show you the final touch of my account when it is finished so let's proceed and I'll get back to you guys okay guys so all of my information is added and they are right here on my channel so what I'm going to do for myself right now is to also add my new YouTube channel to all of my social media accounts. The only account that I don't have under is Twitter because I rarely use Twitter so I don't deem it necessary right now. So I'll be adding it also, I'll be adding all of my, I'll be sorry, I'll be adding my YouTube link to all of my social media platforms. Back. Okay guys, so I'll be adding that at a later time to all of my platforms. Alright, the next step for me after going through is also I said I'm gonna show you guys how to change a email address. Now I I'm gonna sign into my old YouTube account using this one just to get my YouTube channel up and running. I mean, my next YouTube channel, if you guys know what I mean. So, one second while I add in my password. 
Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is go into YouTube Studio. Go over to my left and go on settings. Thanks for the subscription, guys. And please bring it up a little bit more. I'll be doing a giveaway soon, but I'm trying to just sort out this channel first. All right. Next thing for you to do is to go on permissions. Now, I already added an email address. My ownership email address is not working. So what will happen is that I'm going to change it by inviting my new email address to be the current owner. So you would click on invite, type in the email address that you want, and then you would select the action. I don't want it to be the manager or anything like that and I guess it's because I already have a manager so first things first I'm gonna take this off remove access go and learn more and see if I can actually get to do the additions from here right I don't remember where I started it for the first time, but I'm still gonna see if I can try it out from here. All right. All right, so I'm gonna opt out of this. And after doing that, all of the email address that I have added are no longer there. So what I'm gonna do is click on manage manage permissions. Alright? And this is where I would assign what I want to do. So you can go through everything but what I'm gonna do is click on user manage permissions because I want to change so what it did is was it asked me for my permission and ensure that I was a person going in, right? So let's click on manage permissions. I am the primary owner, but I'm about to add someone else. Who is it? Is it me? Is it you? Is it us? Maybe it's all of you. So let's add one head and I will type in the email address that I need. So give me a second while I type it in. Yeah. This is the email address. What I do is I will choose a role which is owner. Because I am already having a current issue with my email address that I had, I have to do this in order to ensure that I have the platform right where I want it to be. Strictly for YouTube. I My advice for you guys when you're starting your YouTube channel is to make sure it has its own email in case something like this happens. You need a backup. All right, so you will reach you and go back over to ensure that the email is correct. You do not want to give somebody else access to your account that you really don't meant to give access to. So I'm going through, it looks correct, you know, and then I'll be sending out the invitation. It's gonna take a while to come up. And once the invitation is sent, all I need to do is make sure I accept it. Isn't that right? <clears throat> now let's check out this inbox to see what's going on here. You know? What's going on here? Hey, this isn't the one that I wanted. Okay. This is not the email that I wanted. This is the email address that I'm basically 
trying to get out, get rid of. So let's go into that primary email that I want to actually accept. Yes, I didn't type in that password. Now the invitation was sent and all I need to do is accept invitation. It's going to redirect me to the page for me to select accept. Now I've accepted it. Now I can also manage this channel as well. So this is also my channel. So I have both channels in my arms. These are mine. This, everything is mine. So it sent you an email to say, I, meaning the next person, is now the owner. And I have ownership over the new channel. Which that is exactly what I wanted. So now it says, no, you now have shared ownership. I don't just want to have shared ownership. I want to have ownership because I want all the newsletters and everything. So, let's go back and check everything on this account, right? I was on something before. Done. So now, I'm also a owner, but let's put it to primary owner. Now, this is the transfer being occurred between both persons. The other owner will be deleted and I will have the complete ownership of this channel. Let's start the process. It's being transferred. I will be receiving an email saying that the ownership is now completely over to me. Well guys, make sure that you are going through everything in detail and going through the guidelines in order to make sure everything is going good for your channel. What I'll be doing is now selecting so nothing is yet up. Not sure if they're gonna send a message or not, but I made sure to select primary owner, did the transfer and select done. So, it's going to take up to 7 business days for the transfer to be done from one account to the next. So, we'll see how it proceeds throughout that time and I'll let you guys know if the transfer was completed or not. This is my first time, but I'm excited. So guys, so guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. It was very educating and I gave you every detail keenly every step of the way. So I hope you guys understand this video and enjoy it as much as I did because I was supposed to make this video a long time ago. But it takes time, it takes process and now I just created a new channel. I want all of you guys to go over there to subscribe. I'll be posting. I'll be posting a video soon on it shortly to tell you guys what I'll be doing on that channel completely and the schedule of my new channel. And for all those Wattpad readers out there that are welcome and hoping for spicy, sexy, hot print books, yeah, slide right over. Can't but afraid, slide right over. Listen. And let's have some fun together. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I did my best to give you every detail best of my knowledge. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. So don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. And make sure you click that post notification bell and all to get notified each time that I post a video. Don't worry. I'll be over on the reading channel more than I'm on. I am over here, but I got something for you guys. But this time, I'm just going to let it fall through. Not before the time. So guys, bear with me. I'm getting there. <laughs>
Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah.